Great day, attractive thinker. Dr. Tony Hatton here, your vision and mindset expert at theattractivethinker.guru, here to support you with mental healing, mental strength, and mindset maintenance. I just want to wish you a very merry, attractive thinker Christmas. What is an attractive thinker Christmas? We think ahead, we see ahead, because during the holiday season, we're full of emotions. We're seeing people we haven't seen in a long time. We're missing people that are no longer here. A whole stew, a whole pot of emotions are coming up and we're experiencing all of these emotions around this time of the year. An attractive thinker Christmas is Christmas is knowing how to process that, knowing how to have joy in the midst of all of the emotions that are coming up. These past couple of days, I've been in total gratitude, just grateful for being alive. You hear me say it all of the time. It is a great day to be alive. It truly is. And I just want to share that with you. We want to stay in the higher emotions. Great day, attractive thinker. We want to stay in the higher emotions during this holiday season gratitude and joy and peace and love and contentment and just happiness and enjoying, you know, shifting our perception, seeing things in a different light, seeing people in a different light. I was in the store today and this young lady was in front of me. Actually, we were the only two in the store. I only had about three things that I was purchasing when I went up to the counter. It's, again, it's only two people in the store. This lady had actually a shopping cart full of items that she was putting up there one by one and she was talking to the cashier and they, she was laughing about things. The cashier was very serious and she was really trying to check her out. But the lady with the items, she was just putting up one where she was talking about her event that's coming up and how happy she is. And she bought containers because every time she comes to an event, nobody has containers to take food home. And she was just talking about all of this stuff. She talked about all of the surgeries that she has survived in just this year. She talked about five different major surgeries that she had. And I said, whoa, when she said that, I said, whoa, you are really blessed. I said, what an amazing, great day, attractive thinkers. That Kanisha, awesome to see you here. Happy, merry, attractive thinker Christmas to you. I know you're going to have a fantastic and amazing time. And this lady was talking about all of the things that happened to her throughout the year. And I said, wow, you are really blessed. And she said, yes, you're right. I mean, she was so jolly and so bubbly and she wasn't, you know, a big to do loud, you know, boisterous person. She just was talking to herself as she was putting the items up on the counter and she was really happy. She was laughing to herself. And I just st stood back and I watched her because usually if we have two or three items in the store and somebody's in front of with like 10,000 items in their car, sometimes you see people huffing and puffing and they're, oh, you know, anxious and, you know, going through stress and, oh my God, and looking for another line to get in and stuff like that. But I took an opportunity. I just stood back, took a deep breath. I had a smile on my face and I was enjoying watching her express her joy. Think about that. Sometimes when you lose your joy, you can get your joy back by watching someone else express, express express their joy because then you become grateful. You're like, you know what? This person is really happy and I might as well get happy with them or I might as well be happy for them. You know, sometimes you see people that are happy and I know I've experienced it in my life too. I'm like, these people are just overly bubbly, you know, and they stand out. Sometimes you see people happy and you're wondering why. Why are they so happy or there's nothing that funny to laugh about or you know there ain't that much happiness in the world but it really is and sometimes you have to watch a person I mean really look at a person not just from the outside but listen to what they're saying and how they're feeling and how they express it and it makes you appreciate it makes you appreciate the tiny things in life because the holiday is not about money I know commercial commercially they talk about that but the holiday to an attractive thinker is about gratitude. It's about helping. It's about who you can serve. It's about zoning in on what's really important in life. You know, it's about uh, reflecting, you know, about the year that, that, just, that we just experienced. Not just what you accomplished. Yes, we talk about that in the attractive thinker movement, but it's not so much about what you accomplished. It's about who you became. It's about who you are as a result of the last 12 months. Who are you? Do you know yourself better? Do you love yourself more? Do you take more time out for yourself? 
Do you put you first? Have you, you know, spent time with yourself or, or treated yourself or nurtured yourself or gave yourself an opportunity to enjoy something that you've been putting on hold for a long time? It's not so much about what you've accomplished this year. It's about who you became this year. I want you to think about that. You might want to journal that down in your Attractive Thinker notebook and just really give yourself an eye. Light a candle, you know, um, um, light some incense, um, burn some beautiful oil, some lavender, some aromatherapy, and dim the lights a little bit, you know, put your soft music on and write a letter to yourself or reflect, journal, talk to yourself, have a conversation, love yourself, thank yourself for hanging in there, thank yourself for loving yourself and putting yourself first and not giving up on yourself. This is a powerful experience for attractive thinkers because, you know, we can get caught up. We can get caught up in life and we can get caught up in what we did or did not accomplish or in what we do or do not have. And we forget that, you know, and, and, and I'm, I'm glad I'm talking about this because we forget that the finest things in life, the most beautiful things in life, the most rewarding and memorable things and treasured things in life, money cannot buy. I want you to remember that and I'm glad that that came to my mind because I want you to also get your free ebook. I wrote an entire ebook on uh, thinking attractively for the holidays, how to unwrap gifts that money cannot buy. And I want you to have that gift for the holiday and reflect on it. You might want to read this book while you're doing your journaling and, you know, over the holiday season and writing letters to yourself and really reflecting on who you became this year. Maybe... Let me give you this website real quick before I forget. www.holidays with an s at the end. Dot the attractive thinker dot guru. My, my website is always tagged on the end of my 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 web pages. www.holidays with an s at the end dot the attractive thinker dot guru attractive thinker kanisha if you're still here merry christmas to you as well if you're still here could you post that website in the comment section for me please www dot holidays with the s at the end dot the attractive thinker dot guru g u r u and when we're talking about reflecting and enjoying our lives and, and, and thinking about who we became. Think about it. Maybe, you know, early in the year, you didn't have a grip on your emotions. Maybe you weren't thinking attractively. Maybe you were overwhelmed and every time something happened, you just blew up or you just got depressed or you checked out or you just left it alone or you, you, you know, ran away from it or didn't want to be bothered with it or, you know, you crumbled or you felt unworthy and, and internalized everything. Maybe, attractive thinker, you've grown this year. Think about that. Money cannot buy that. You can't buy growth on a shelf in the store. You can't buy personal growth and development. You can't buy mental health on a shelf in the store. Think about that. That's, that comes from the inside. You doing your work. I had an attractive thinker say to me, you know, Dr. Tony, I came to you because I keep blowing up. I don't handle things well. You know, I don't handle stress well. When things don't go my way or I disagree or, you know, I feel uh, a stress or pulled on or stretched. I don't deal with that well. And I came to you because I need mental tools. I need mental health support because I don't like being that way. Think about that attractive thinker. That's growth. When you come to the realization that, that you're doing something and you don't like being that way, that's awesome. Now you're at a point where you can reach out and get the support that you need so that you can get the tools to manage these wonderful, fantastic, and amazing areas of our lives. I want you to think about that. I want you to focus this holiday season Christmas and New Year's and all of the wonderful, beautiful holidays that all of the cultures, you know, celebrate during this time of the year. I want you to think about who you became. I want you to reflect and I want you to pay close attention to your response, how you respond, how you feel. I want you to not just go throughout this holiday season doing the normal, the usual, you know, parties and family and getting dressed and celebrating and things like that. Just take a step back while you're doing these things and be more observant. Pay attention to the conversations that you just happen to overhear. 
It's just not by, it's not going to happen just by happenstance. It's just not a coincidence. Pay attention. Sometimes you could be at one, one space, one area of the room and all of a sudden you, you decide to move to another side of the room and you overhear a conversation that you, you would not have heard had not you taken 10 steps. If you had taken eight steps, you wouldn't have heard that conversation. So pay attention to these types of things. This is paying attention to your life, being in the forefront of your life instead of being in the background of your life, just letting life happen, you know, going through the motions, walking tall, walking slow, talking slow, thinking slow. No, attractive thinkers are conscious beings. We pay attention to our environment. We, we, we look for the blessing. We look for the, the miracle, the aha. We look for the thing that's ours. We don't just, you know, go throughout our lives and do things and don't have an expectation and intention or anticipate anything, you know, because we understand that when we move, things move. We understand that when we take a step forward, you know, we change our environment. We affect the environment. So with that information, with that consciousness, you want to pay close attention to who you encounter. During this holiday season, you know, what conversations you overhear, what ideas come to your mind. That's important. As an attractive thinker, you want to capture your ideas, capture the ideas, meaning write them down, write them down in your attractive thinker notebook. They're not just coming to you so you can smile about them. They're not just coming to you so you can feel good about them. They're coming to you so you can do something about them, so that you can give birth to them. See, they're in the invisible realm. You have to do the work to push them out into the physical realm. Because I was sharing with another attractive thinker just this week. I they were talking about, oh, I have an idea. I have ideas. I have things that I want to do with my life. And, and and they're big ideas. And you know, they keep coming. And I was I was sharing with them, and you have to give birth to them. Do you know ideas are things? Ideas are real. So take a look around where you are right now. Everything that you see was an idea in the invisible realm in somebody's head. Think about that. Great day, attractive thinker Lisa. Yes. <laughs> Happy holidays to you. Great day, attractive thinker Marianne. Murray and Moody. Oh my gosh, we go way back. Hey, Miss Sonia Michelle. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know, attractive thinkers, so many wonderful. Think about the people that you've encountered, the people that mean something to you. Think about the people who have affected your life, that left an impact. You know, I actually just left a funeral this morning. One of my son's childhood friends, who was a friend of our family, they used to hang out together and do some wonderful things together. And he had, you know, his mom passed, who was my friend. We were friends raising our kids together. We live like three houses from each other. And I just left the funeral this morning. And, you know, I was there for the young man. I said, hey, you know, we family. You know, whatever you need, you know, just reach out. Let us know because we'll be there. You're not by yourself, you know. And he says, I know y'all family. You know, he said, I know, you know, as soon as y'all roll up, I know. You know, so it's about having gratitude and he was happy. He was smiling. He knows that he did his job, you know, while his mom was here and he doesn't have those kinds of regrets. So this holiday season, I'm telling and I have another funeral to go to next week. So, you know, this holiday season, everybody's emotions are going to be, you know, at the surface and they're going to be all over the place. So you, you need to know what to do with that. You don't want to get drunk. You don't want to get depressed. You don't want to check out. You don't want to put your dream down. You don't want to give up on yourself. You don't want to say whatever. So what? Okay, here we go. What's now? What's new? What's next? What else can happen again? When it rains, it pours. Okay, so right, so right. You don't want to do that. Those are too, those vibrations are too low. You want to get in a high vibrational energy because you have to understand as an attractive thinker who you are. You're here because you have more work to do. You're here because people need you. You're here because the world needs what you have to offer. You're here because you're not done. You're here because you're fantastic and amazing. I want you to think about that. And when I said that just now, something came to me. Just because you're going through something does not change how fantastic and amazing you really are. I want you to remember that. You might encounter someone, an old fling or an old relationship or an old family member and, and things don't sit well with you. You know, you don't have good vibes. I want you to understand that you're still fantastic and amazing. It doesn't take anything from your character, from your strength, from your courage, from your confidence, from your ideas. 
I want you to think about that attractive thinker. You're all that you need to be. You're always all that you will ever need to be in this life. Great day, attractive thinker Marie. It's good to see you. Great day, attractive thinker Jesse. Oh, my Uncle Jesse is here watching. Happy and, and um, a, a merry attractive thinker tr a Christmas to all of you for watching. I'm really excited to have you here because this is a very important holiday season for us because we're living. We're living. You don't want to be living and walk around like the dead. You're living. And you want to take advantage of every breath, every opportunity. Every breath is, is so full of opportunity. I want you to think about this. Every breath is full of opportunity. Breath. Every breath. Sometimes you don't realize how powerful one breath is until you almost lose your breath. You don't, want, you don't want to know what it's like to almost lose your breath. Something simple. See, money can't buy breath. And again, I want you to run on over to www.holidays.com dot the attractive thinker dot guru and get your free ebook thinking attractively it's called think attractively for the holidays how to unwrap gifts that money cannot buy you want to learn how to unwrap yourself unwrap your treasure unwrap the greatness inside of you unwrap the beauty inside of you there's beauty inside of all of us just because you may not have discovered it does not mean that it's not there it's in all of us there's beauty in all of us. And it's our responsibility to discover it, unwrap it, share it with ourselves and share it with the world. Think about that attractive thinker. So all of the emotions that you're gonna encounter during this holiday season, I want you to know how to manage them. You manage them, number one, by remembering, I'm fantastic and amazing no matter what. Number two, I made it this far. I'm not who I used to be. I've grown this year. I've matured this year. I've invested in myself this year. I've put myself first in areas where I was putting myself last this year. I'm fantastic and amazing all by myself. All by yourself. Of course, we don't want to be by ourselves. Nobody wants to walk alone in the world. But I'm saying, if you find yourself by yourself, you're fantastic and amazing all by yourself. I want you to think about that. You don't need anything. You don't have to buy anything to make you worthy. You're worthy just by yourself, just by being, just by being alive. You're worthy and you're good enough and you're great and you deserve. Think about that attractive thinker. So that takes the pressure off of always trying to do something to be worthy. All you have to do is be to be worthy. Just be yourself. Laugh the way you laugh. Don't laugh like somebody else laughs. Talk the way you talk. Think the way you think. Walk the way you walk. Wear what you want to wear. Think about that. Express your gifts the way you desire to because you're unique in every way. You're unique in every way, and we need you just like you are. Of course, we all grow, we sharpen our skills, we get better, we, we take training so we can, you know, really maximize who we really are, but we need you just like you are. Just the way, the way you thought about that idea, we need it just like that. Think about that attractive thinker. So it's not about what you've accomplished this year, it's about who you became this year. Great day, attractive thinkers. Hey, sis, happy holidays. Back to you, Sonia Michelle. It's good to see you here. I want to make sure I see all of the... Ah! <laughs> Uncle Jesse, you go, girl. Love you too, Uncle. It's good to see you here on Facebook. I hope I see you around the holidays, you and the family. You know, attractive thinker, I want you to always remember this. No matter what you go through in life, because guess what? We all go through it. Give me a second. Let me turn this phone off. We all go through it. It's, there's, no, there's no one here on the planet that doesn't go through these things. We all go through it. We're, nobody's exempt. I don't care how beautiful they are, how wealthy they are, how, how smart they are. We all go through it, right? 
So, and when I say through it, what it is, is the emotional upheavals, the disappointments, the frustrations, you know, the highs and the lows. You're here today and you're down there tomorrow. You know, we all go through that. So learning how to manage it supports you in being the best that you can be. Learning how to manage. Don't let people ruffle your feathers. Don't let life ruffle your feathers. And I know it happens, but when it happens, know how to recover. Instead of continuing to spiral down, know how to recover from that. Think about that attractive thinker. Know how to get back to your happy place, your peace, your joy, your flow. No, you know how you're in the flow and ideas are coming and things are happening and you feel great and looks like life is working for you. Stay in the flow. And then when you get out of the flow, know how to get back into the flow. Don't take weeks and months to, to get back into the flow. Know where the flow is and how to get back into the flow immediately because you matter. You count and you're worthy and we need you and we love you and we appreciate you. Attractive thinkers, remember to get your free ebook. Think attractively for the holidays, how to unwrap gifts that money cannot buy. Dr. Tony Hatton here. Here's the website, www.holidays, with an S at the end, dot the attractive thinker dot guru. Remember, my life's work, that's always to make your life better. It is not what you're going through. It's how you're viewing it. Think attractively, and I'll see you soon.